So you did this video a while back about Tom in two minutes. Well, what'd you miss? Well, I got most of it right, but I did leave out two really important problems that Com solves really, really well. First one is lifetime management. How do I know that I can hand an object from one object, one place to another, to another, to another, from one process to another, from one computer to another, and still manage to maintain the lifetime of that object and be sure that when I'm done with it, the object will cleanly just go away. That's a really hard problem and we COM solves it. There's a bunch of rules about COM memory management and in general, if you follow the rules, you don't ever have to worry about object lifetime. The other thing I forgot about is memory management. When you're building a flat API and you have a DLL that exports a, a function and it allocates some memory, you also have to create a free function or you have to define a set of rules for how you free the memory that was allocated by the object. Um, you can see this in flat APIs all over the place. It's part of the problem with the flat API model. COM, because of the way it handles lifetimes, because of the way IUnknown works, COM packages that up neatly for you. You never have to worry about that because the component that allocated the object is always the component that also received the final IUnknown release. And so whatever memory manager was used, the code that created the object is always going to be the code that frees the object, so you never ever have to worry about memory management's being mismatched, heap corruption errors, all sorts of myriad of problems that you have with flat APIs, COM just takes care of that for you.